Hey guys, today I am going to reveal the brutal truth behind what's happening inside the Patreons of Alpha Investments. There is panic. A lot of people have approached me to sell their collections. Unfortunately, I already own all the boxes because I, being the Timmy, have purchased upwards of $100,000 of boxes that originated from Rudy. How do I know? Well, the patrons told me these are patrons at the $100 level. So what do you get at the $100 per month level, which is $1,200 a year? Well, you get the ability to buy more boxes. So I've been buying un infinite amounts of War of the Spark, Modern Horizon, Dominaria, Remastered, or Dominaria, some form of Dominaria. Uh, and it's been pretty brutal. I've been absolutely decimated in the last two years uh, in terms of the value of these boxes. Many of these boxes I paid upwards of 50% more than current retail prices on eBay because that was what the buy list was at the time. And I'm not alone. A lot of these Rudy Chan individuals or Rudy investors are feeling the pinch of the economy. The economy is not great right now. I would probably say it's more stagnant than ever before. It is very, very difficult, in my opinion, to uh, separate yourself and to try to make more money. Um, one of the tough reasons that it is that difficult is everyone has the same boxes as you. So it's not like there is a run. So the, you know, when in Econ 101 at NYU, they would have this graph. It would be supply and demand. Well, supply is very high and demand is very little, so you can figure out where that the price will be not very high. That being said, I am buying. Um, I'm not going to say I'm not buying. I think there is an opportunity here. And I just love opening the stuff with my friends. Uh, my friends have, they have not been interested in opening Magic product for two years now. And suddenly they want to open all the magic product that they missed. And there is the idea of cheap packs. Cheap packs are, is what we're after. I don't think people really understand this, but cheap packs make for fantastic deals. Okay. And that's what's available now. Um, that is what is available. I think um, in terms of what is happening that um, a lot of the individuals and a lot of the people who have invested in to this have lost quite a bit of money and there's no liquidity because who wants a War of the Spark booster box? Let's be honest. What's the volume on that? The volume is not very high because the volume... I mean, even Return to Ravnica is less than $100 a box, which is very disturbing because that box, I think, is like 10, 8, 10 years old. Or 7. It, it's old. It's an old box. Because we had to return to Ravnica. Um, I am at... Um, you know, I'm totally shocked and almost amazed. Right? That the, this has gone on for so long. I would imagine that in terms of what is happening right now in the marketplace. That people won't be able to sell these boxes for anything close to what they believe they could sell them for and to be quite frank I, I don't think you should be buying these boxes unless you're buying them to open and have fun because there is very very little value right long term um and you know there's many more card games there's lakana coming out there's one piece there's so many other things that people are spending their money on that magic the gathering is really back of the mind right until at least they get new management so there is absolute panic uh or at least from my view maybe maybe you can say it's a little biased because the people who are going to contact me obviously they're not going to contact me because they have good things to say about rudy they're going to contact me because they have bad things to say about rudy i understand that that being said there is a lot a lot of them in the beginning it was just one or two a month now there are dozens and dozens and dozens right and um, there could be more. There could be a hell lot more, man, coming in the next few weeks. Because as people need money, and, and again, cash is king here. 
Cash has always been king, but cash is really, really, I mean, important right now because money is just so tight for so many people and they just want to sell. They would just want to sell. And I'm all for it. You know, if you view this as cheap packs that you open for fun, like I make fun of MetaZoo a lot, right? But Magic the Gathering, their packs are really cheap too now. Like, I'm not kidding. Like, this is, these, these things are low, low, low. These are not um, very expensive things that are in the marketplace right now. A lot of them are pretty, like, pretty affordable, which is a good thing, in my opinion. But that being said, there's not much value in them. And when you talk about other card games and other stuff, they're all getting really decimated. It's not just Magic the Gathering. They're all getting decimated right now in terms of prices. So if you want uh, a favorite card or you have a favorite you know, card game or something like that, now is maybe a good time to go in. I mean, I'm definitely interested in Inuyasha TCG if you guys have that or Fire Emblem Cypher. I am 100% interested in buying them and seeing uh, where it goes because I think in terms of uh, in terms of money and value, there are things that don't come on the market unless people are desperate for money. I'm looking at a Inuyasha signed autograph. Signed autograph. I haven't seen one of these come on the market for maybe four years. It's not just in Magic. Alpha Beta is coming to the market on a regular basis. Um, if you even look at... not uh, So for me, I have a YouTube channel, so people email me. But even if you look at eBay, things that you never see because they're so rare and valuable and it's really hard to kind of classify uh, what it would be worth are now just... I mean, they're everywhere in the market. And I don't really know. I mean, I'm looking at these booster packs and they look good to me. Uh, this one's in Tampa, Florida. But... Holy moly, guys, um, things are just coming on the market that I have not seen before uh, or, you know, would even Locana. Locana is cheap now. People are buying into Locana. There is a lot of different avenues to buy cards and there are a lot of different card games. One Piece, I saw a collection of One Piece that was really affordable and I kind of looked at it and said, you know, maybe that's uh, maybe that's good for me. Um, games are becoming cheap now, guys. They Weiss is becoming cheaper ever than than ever. I had a big Weiss deal that I basically didn't want to do, but I could have done it. Uh, cards are really affordable across the board. Uh, I was reading a post about Rudy Chan in the uh, MTG Finance Reddit. It's worth giving it a look, but it basically just goes in deep at him and. Maybe I'll read that to you guys a little time later, but yeah, Alpha Investments investors got hosed, man. They're, I mean, they're they're selling for peanuts right now, and it's hard to say no to that price point. 